Hello and welcome. Minecraft Live's 2022 mob vote has revealed all three mobs. We got the Sniffer, the Rascal, and the Tough Golem. We're going to be starting with the Sniffer and going through all of the different mobs. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you which one I think you should vote for. But for, we're going to go for each mob and then we'll see which one you guys want to see voted into the game. And before we talk about the three mobs, the names actually got leaked beforehand. And, you know, go just, for, just off the names, I think most people wanted the Tough Golem to be added. And I feel like it's different. I feel like now we've seen what the mobs are. I feel like that's probably s switched where uh, the sniffer was like at the bottom and the tough golem was at the top. And now it's like reversed. Like it's reversed. And Rascal's still in the middle, I feel like. That's just what I've, I've gauged from people. So let's go through the mobs. The sniffer, the first one added, is the cool looking like ancient dinosaur. They'll spawn in the underwater ruins. Each one, um, besides the tough golem, spawns um, in a different structure, which is pretty cool. And the Alley last year spawned in the Pillager Outpost, which is pretty good. So Mojang's trying to, like, add spawns to the, the structures in the game, you know? So, the Sniffer will spawn in ancient ruins in its eggs, in chests under underwater. And they'll be around there, and you can obviously look around the ancient ruins, underwater ruins. Grab them, return to the surface, plant them, probably, like, on sand or just dirt. It could be anywhere, probably, really. In the trailer, it was just like on the beach, you know, and they, they sort of like be like will be like a turtle egg, or they just sort of sit there. They look like about as as tall as a full block, and like they don't take up a whole full block. They're like a one of those weird like fence post wall sized like blocks. That's how big it'll be, and it will spawn as a baby because we saw an adult one later in the trailer. So then it'll obviously grow up to be like pretty big because the other two don't grow. They're just like the same size, and they'll dig around in the ground. Which I'm probably assuming you have to have dirt below them, like grass or dirt. And they'll find ancient seeds in the ground, because they're an ancient mob. They're, like, from the past, long ago. And I saw some cool theories. Everyone's saying, like, oh, what if they grow really big, and those were the big bones. Like, you can find the fossils underground. And, like, that's what they, they are. Like, that's a cool, like, theory if it gets into the game, you know. But the ancient seeds, they have confirmed. Like, they've confirmed a few things. So I'm going to tell you all the confirmed stuff they have said about the mobs. They confirm the seeds don't. Don't do anything. So it's going to be a decorative plant. Just like all the flowers and stuff. It won't like be like a crop. Like, oh, you're going to find corn or tomatoes or whatever fruit or vegetable you like loved. And you're like, oh, yeah, they're going to finally add this to the game. They're going to finally add Il Mango to the game. Finally, you're going to have mangoes. And it's like, no, they're not adding that. It's just going to be a decorative plant. You know, sort of like, name it, think of any decorative plant you can think of, you know. It'll probably look, it'd be like a weird looking, like, even not real. Or like ancient looking plant, you know, because it's, it's obviously an ancient mob. It's gonna have it's gonna have some cool like ancient look to it. I said in my first video about the sniffer, it's like Stardew Valley. Have the ancient seed in Stardew Valley. In, in Stardew Valley, it's worth a lot of money, but in Minecraft, it won't, it won't be worth any money because you you know it won't do anything. And it'll be like a, I feel like this will be like the like a chicken where you know Jens was actually saying, oh, it'll be like a chicken, and it actually is like a chicken. He was it was, it was a joke in the trailer, and. It's not actually a joke, because, like, the chickens lay eggs, and, this, and the rascals will, like, uh, the, the sniffers will dig up seeds, and they'll just, like, be floating around in the, the pen like eggs, you know? Just sitting there. So, we might see um, a bunch of sniffers in, like, a big a little pen with hoppers below them, just, like, you know, like a huge um, farm. But I feel like they have to have, like, ground below them, because the, the chickens is really OP, because they don't need any ground to lay the eggs, so you can have, like, an automatic chicken farm. Yeah, so that's a sniffer. Pretty cool. You know, they're, they're a very interesting mob. We're going to go on to the, the Rascal now. The Rascal. Some new stuff was confirmed about him. So you have to find it. You know, oh, in, the, in the trailer, they were like, you got to... When you find him in the mine shaft or in the cave, you have to, you know, you have to find him three times. So you'll see him. He'll, like, then run away. Like, sort of like a... Probably like an ender. And, like, you'll, like, sort of just stare at him. It'll be, uh, yeah, it'll be definitely, like, that kind of thing where... He's like an enderman. You look at him. He like he runs away. Like ah, I gotta, I gotta run. So instead of the enderman chasing you, he'll run away. And then after he runs, he'll like probably stop again, and like be hiding. And then you go find him again. And then at the third time, he'll give you something. So in the trailer, they said it was an uh, iron pickaxe that was enchanted, and they have said it will be other stuff as well. But the, nothing new. They've said nothing new is gonna be added. He's not gonna give you anything. He won't be giving you a backpack. There's no way it's like you're getting a backpack. I'm going to get a backpack. Finally, backpacks. No, there's no backpacks. They've, confer they've not confirmed that. They might add backpacks later in the game. And if they did add ba backpacks, 
it wouldn't be because of the rascal. So even if he doesn't get in, it's not like they're going to add them. You know, I feel like a lot of people will vote for him thinking they're going to be backpacks. And it's like, no, they're not adding backpacks, you know. But I think they even said they don't want to add backpacks. And shocker boxes are basically backpacks right now. I know a lot of people don't like shocker boxes because they can't, don't want to go all the way to the end, you know. You know, like you have like people like, oh, that's what the bundles was like. A mini backpack sort of thing. They were trying to work out. They'll, they'll, they'll figure something out to like do with like bundles and stuff or a backpack they'll they'll do an inventory update at some point you know because they know it's like a big thing it's like when everyone's saying about the cave update like they know they know what everyone's saying you know and like the hermit craft people are talking to them like doc doc m and stuff with like you know talking to them on the hermit craft server which is pretty cool so they, they know all the, the stuff about that and the the rascal will only spawn below y equals zero so below y equals zero is when they can spawn in and this is an important thing to know when you're, like, deciding which one to vote for. Is how easy to get them. Like, the LA only spawning in, like, woodland mansions and in pillager outposts. I mean, they're not very common, you know? Like, so, the rascal spawning in, like, the underwater ruins. You know, if you have if you have an ocean, you're going to be fighting rascals, like, all the time. Um, um, not rascals. I keep m messed up the names. Sniffer. The sniffers will all be, like, pretty common because they're in the underwater ruins. And they're, like, you know, going to be easy to find. The rascal spawning below y equals zero might be tough to find, but like, if you do a bit of caving, you should definitely find them. And the tough golem being being made by the player, probably from tough, and they said of, of, with wool as well, because that's what the cape is that they wear. The little like cape thing they wear is dependent on which wool block you use. So if you, you know, so you can make the, the tough golem and you can find the other two pretty easily. Like these were all pretty easy to, easy to find, you know? underground below y0 which is like everywhere in the whole minecraft world if it's only mine shafts i don't think they said it was only mine shafts it might be only mine shafts below y0 and if it is that then it's a little bit harder to find the tough golem is player made similar to item frames they also confirm that they'll pick up an item if they like don't have one so if your tough golem doesn't have an item and then you like dropped an item or a mob dropped an item they'll go pick it up it's like a reverse it's like a reverse LA in that sense you know where the LA would like you have to give it an item and then it could pick up like, infinite items of that or, like as many items of that as you can and then bring them back to you whereas the tough golem can only pick up one item but it can pick up its own items so you can have like a whole bunch of tough golems and then like if you like died in your base somehow like they go pick up all your stuff which is pretty cool which is like a sort of good way of like keeping your stuff safe but I don't know how practical that will be. And it's it's a cool, like, decorative thing. It's a very decorative mob. It's just, like, a style and, like, decoration for, like, your base, you know? It's gonna... Like, they showed it off in an art gallery. Like, oh, you show off your items. You got your wither stars, your beacons, your neverite ingots. You put them on these guys, and they just walk around flexing, like, yo, we got all the best stuff. They don't have any other functionality. I think if the tough golem had one more thing, like, literally only one... I'd probably like put it way higher on my ranking, you know. Just holding an item is like I don't think it's enough, you know. Out of the three mobs, like the way I'd rank them right now, and also before I rank them, there's only one, one vote this year. I'm pretty sure they've said. So you vote 20 hours, 24 hours before the vote, before like the Minecraft live starts. So that's 24 hours before, uh, one full day. This is like a Mr. Beast challenge right here. I got 24 hours to mine. I got 24 hours to get all of the mobs in the Minecraft mob, mob vote. You know, <laughs> it just sounds like a Mr. Beast challenge right there. So yeah, we've got 24 hours and there's only one vote. Which is definitely interesting because like, when they like, narrow it down, like then it be, I think it's better there's one vote because like, when there's two votes, it becomes like, really close. It's like, it goes from like, oh, 30%, 30%, 30%, 33% each, you know, a third of the players are all like, oh, we want this one, to, you know, 50-50, you know? Because then whoever, like, lost the first one, all those players move in, and they're, like, now, like, you know, and then it's, like, a 50-50. Like, half the community is going to be upset when, like, the mob is, like, not voted for. The mobs from, like, the one I think least should be in the game to the one that I think most should be in the game. So in the third spot, the one I think should be least in the game is the Tough Golem. I just feel like the Tough Golem is, like, doesn't have enough functionality. I said it earlier in the video, like, it just needs, like, one more thing, and then it would be, like, definitely, like, oh, I mean, oh, maybe the tough golem should be in the game, you know? Like, so, sort of like how the, the copper golem press buttons, like, on redstone. Like, if they had said, like, oh, I could also do this or that, if you can start it or stop it with redstone, like, in, in an interesting way, 
then it'd be like, yeah, like the, the tough golden women would like really cool. I think the tough golden though could could win. Like it's it looks really cool. Like the tough golden actually does look really cool. So you know, if you if you vote for it, and you want to vote for it, vote for it because like it's a cool looking little guy. And I feel like they'll keep adding golems every mob vote until one wins. Because they're really cool. And they do like a golem um, update where they have golems every... <laughs> and, and there's like loads of golems get spawned in. Because I've got to say, I love the iron golem and the snow golem and all those guys as well. They're really cool. Now for number two. The one I think... Second, the one I think sh that will probably be number two as well. Is going to be the rascal. I feel like the rascal is definitely very cool. And, you know, like the, the getting items is obviously very nice. Like, you know, you're in the mines. You're like, oh man, my pickaxe broke. Oh, there's a rascal. Boom, get another pickaxe. And they said it can give you other items, but I feel like it's not, it's like not, yeah, like the best that prop the rascal would probably give you, they've not confirmed this, so don't like think, oh, the rascal can give you these items. I said, you know, I said it can't give you, it won't, you know, the best it will give you is probably like a chest loot. Like, imagine like chest loot, like the, the lowest level of chest loot, you know, you, you like, think of like, you know, basic stuff in a chest, you'd, you'd find like a mine shaft, you know. I don't think this is balancing wires. That they give them the, the chest loot of like enchanted golden apples because if you could like farm them in any way and uh, you can farm them because like the, the 100 percent ill mango and raised works will have a farm the second they're added in the snapshot they like literally like i don't know how they do it they, they get the snapshot early they have like a full like hour long like thing to build like farm for the the, the mob like you know the lays got got added and they had this whole system built already and i was like how do, how are you doing this amount El mango raise works i don't even know but yeah the the rascals got loot that's already in the game pretty much it doesn't really add new stuff and that's why i think the number one the one i think is going to get added is a sniffer the sniffer adds in a new item to the game the ancient seeds and a new plant to the game which i feel like just just that and also the egg the eggs also something you can pick up you can pick up the egg you know, which is really, really cool. Like, picking up that egg. You have... Actually, yeah, so it's actually three new things. There's an egg, the mob, and the seeds, and the plants. That's four new things, technically. You know, because the plants, the seeds, and the mob. And, like, the eggs look really cool. Like, they look... Like, look, if you... I know you can't do it in, like, survival, but in, like, creative mode, you can, like, stop the eggs from growing. And they're, like, like cool, like, alien-looking things. They're, like, very cool-looking. And they just look really cool, like, honestly. Like... As, as the aesthetic goes, I feel like the, the Tough Golem definitely fits in Minecraft. I feel like in terms of what fits in Minecraft, the Tough Golem's number one, 100%. Not in t and then then it's the uh, Sniffer. Then finally, Rascal. I feel like Rascal just does not look Minecrafty enough. Maybe in-game it will look completely Minecraft. I'm like, oh yeah, that fits, you know. If you had a huge Squidward nose, like, you know, like, then I'd be like, bam, that, yo, let's go, Rascal, in the game. Let's go, Rascal, get in the game, yo. Because it needs that, like, the villager, pillager Squidward nose to, like, like, and the Iron Golem and stuff, to be a uh, Minecraft mob. But Sniffer is just, like, one of those crazy Mojang things where it's, like, you know, the Strider, the Creeper, like, these, these things that, like, aren't, you know, and they just, like, yeah. I like it. I really like it. I feel like it will win. I feel like the most of the votes will go to the Sniffer. I feel like the Rascal could also win, you know? Just remember, there's no backpacks. I don't want, I don't want another mob vote where everyone's like oh you know it's gonna add in something so cool to the game and then it happens and then like it doesn't add the backpack and everyone's like sad you know just be make sure you realize that and you know honestly the tough golem could be like a big surprise contender because it's only one round and it's 24 hours to vote you know it could it could be any mob like you know the one the one round thing is really interesting and it could literally be anyone you know, and honestly, you should vote for whichever one you want. I just gave you my thoughts. I'll be voting for the Sniffer. You now have to vote in the Minecraft Launcher or in Bedrock in the game, which is really cool. So make sure you vote 24 hours before. I might do a tutorial on like how to vote 24 hours before the Minecraft live, live stream. So make sure you stay tuned for that if I do do that. I probably will. And I think I'll do a video as well talking about Minecraft Live. Because they're going to announce 1.20. It's going to be so cool. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait for that as well. Hope you all enjoyed this episode of Minecraft. You know, talking about everything, you know, in Minecraft. It's been really fun. Thank you for watching and goodbye.